When you picture a staffy, one of the first things you probably think about is probably that short coat and how easy they are to keep well groomed. While the short hair does reduce shedding and brushing is easy, is keeping a staffy's coat in amazing condition as easy as it might first seem? Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Staffy, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that raises perfect Staffy companions. So if you love the Staffy as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting the subscribe button and turning on that notification bell so you never miss a future video. So then let's dive into today's video and we'll get right to the ins and outs of brushing the Staffy first. The Staffy is a short haired breed and doesn't possess an undercoat, but this doesn't mean that they don't shed. This breed is an occasional shedder as old hairs come loose and are replaced with new ones. Like most breeds, shedding is increased during spring and fall when the temperatures start to change. Due to this, a Staffy does still require weekly brushing and it is really important to keep their skin healthy. Removing any dead hair that might otherwise be uncomfortable and it serves as a great bonding experience and allows you to keep a close eye on your Staffy's skin for any skin problems that are common in the breed like hotspots, uh, dermatitis and mange. For those weekly grooming sessions, all you need is a good bristle brush. A good quality brush is long enough to remove any loose hair or dirt and it's not hard enough to damage the Staffy's skin. When it is in shedding season, you might need to up your brush game a little bit. Something like a Furminator for short haired dogs is a wise choice. Just make sure you get the right size brush for the dog's hair length as they usually do come in several different sizes. And using one that is too large can do damage to the dog's top layer of hair or their skin. It is also important to be gentle when using this kind of brush with this kind of breed. There isn't too much fur to buffer the comb's teeth from getting to the skin and pressing too hard can even cut the dog. Now, when it comes to bathing, you can expect this to be a regular part of having the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The breed is an active one, which tends to get dirty from time to time. For a Staffy, you will want to use a high quality organic shampoo. Never use a shampoo made specifically for humans. Human shampoo is not chemically balanced for dogs and could potentially and actually destroy some of their coat's natural properties and leave them more vulnerable to things like parasites. Now, for Staffies with any history of skin issues, it's always safe to use a hypoallergenic shampoo, not to risk a flare-up of those skin conditions. Now, a Staffy should be brushed before and after a bath. Before, removing any loose hair and again after to prevent any matting. Even though they have short hair, their hair can still very easily mat when wet. Matted hair on a Staffy can lead to hot spots, flare-ups with skin issues and even cause infections. For day-to-day -day eye care, Staffies do not really require anything special unless otherwise recommended by your vet. Sometimes they are prone to sun discharge, which should be gently wiped away as soon as it's noticed. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Affer where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Now the ear care of a Staffy can be a little bit more complicated. As they have floppy ears, they can be a bit more prone to infection. Especially after baths or after going swimming, they should be dried using a dry cotton ball to soak up any excess water. They also require monthly ear cleaning, and a dog cleaning ear solution being the best product to use to do so. You mustn't use a Q-tip or push a cotton ball into the ear any further than what you can see. Any further and you risk doing damage to their inner ear. If you see any redness or excess crusty buildup in their ears, then it might be time for a vet visit to see if it's signs of infection. And nail care for a Staffy is what you would expect with any breed. How often nails need to be clipped can be down to the individual and diet. A good indicator of if nails need to be clipped is if you can hear them when they're walking on the floor. Now the Staffy is an easy breed to handle when it comes to grooming. Just make sure to use an appropriate brush on them once or twice a week. Brush them before and after bathing and keep their ears clean and you really will be golden. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and you'll never miss a future Staffy video.